Hi, this is Raj from ML Sports Cars. In this video, I've got an absolutely stunning Porsche 911 Carrera S convertible. It's a 991 Generation 1, registered March 2013. And it's got a very low mileage of just over 34,000 miles, 34,042 miles from memory. It's finished in absolutely glorious basalt black metallic which even on this cloudy day actually looks amazing. Um, we've fully machine polished this car, um, waxed it with Auto Finesse Sole Carnuba Wax, which is a brilliant finishing product. Really brings out the absolutely stunning metallic shine. Um, there's a bit of the sun coming through there. You can see the, the metal flex there. Hood's black as is the extended leather on the inside. So this is what's called triple black. And uh, the convertible shape of the 901, I think is one of the best of all time. The way the roof just follows straight into the rear three quarters is just perfection in my eyes. Got a glass heated rear screen as well. Okay, so let me open the roof. So you've got a, a lovely sort of carbon effect key case there and there's also the other second key has a gloss black one. So I hold down the button there and that'll get the roof going. You can see it operates exactly as it should. Also operates on the, the controls in the car, either stationary or actually up to around 35 miles an hour. You can actually get the, the roof to go down or up so you can actually do it on the fly while you're driving. Now the paintwork, as I said, is absolutely flawless. The inside's all, all great as well. Uh, no marks, rips or, or tears or anything. This car's got a huge options list. Um, I'll start with the things on the outside. So it has the black edition PDLS Porsche dynamic lighting system or dynamic cornering lights. So they're, they're typically finished in a, a, a sort of like a grey silver plastic. On this car they're actually finished in the black plastic so that goes well with the rest of the car with it being all blacked out. Um, they, this bezel here where it moves uh, around corners and it's speed sensitive so it'll light up the corners as you go around them. It has daylight running lights in those front sections there on both sides. The wheels are the optional 20 inch Carrera Classics and they're diamond cut agate grey insides. Um, be because it's an S, it has the Guards Red big brake kit, so it has lovely Porsche lettering there and uh, larger discs and, and uh, much more powerful braking than the than the non S's. Um, lots of life left in these. Were, these were recently replaced by a Porsche, especially this Cotswold Porsche. So yeah, uh, tyres are also matching Pirelli P0s, all N rated as well. I'll just show you the, the tread on that. And then I'll show you the rear as well. Again, Pirelli P0s. Brakes are also in great condition on the back here. And those lovely red calipers, guards red calipers there. Now the S models come with the three, uh, in this era come with the 3.8 litre flat six which is direct fuel injection. It has 325 foot pound and torque, 400 horsepower. It'll do 60 in around 4.2 seconds. So incredibly fast car. With the items that this has, it will do 4.2. Um, the direct fuel injection is a wonderful flat six engine. Absolutely sounds amazing. I will start it up at some point in this video so you can hear it for yourself. Sounds absolutely amazing at whatever speed. It's got the optional switchable sports exhaust and it's got the polished stainless steel quad exhaust system there. It was also spec from the factory without having all of the lettering, just 911. In fact, that option code is called 911, which means deletion of, of model designation and instead they put, just put 911. Keeps it nice and simple and clear on the back. I mean, just look at that, the shine on that paintwork. I really love preparing these cars in black. They, it is that classic 911 color, color as long uh, as well as uh, guards red as well. Um, but there's something about black 911s and how they look, especially when they're clean like this one is. So as I said, it's got the extended black 
leather interior. It has, uh, so it's got silver contrast stitching all the way around, even in the back. And it has the uh, Sports Eats Plus, which have also been painted, the backs have been painted in uh, satin black, so that um, these typically come with, in a dark gray plastic. That really not, really sort of is quite a cohesive look with the rest of the exterior, sort of carrot continuing that black look on there. It's also got the uh, carbon interior package, so it's got carbon inlaid trims there on the doors on the center console and even on it's got a special op option code for the pdk selector to also have carbon inlaid in it as well optional sport design steering wheel as well which works great with the optional seven speed semi-automatic gearbox so you when it's in manual mode or even in auto mode you can use these full-size paddles that one's to go down a gear that one's to go up a gear and they follow the steering wheel as well it has cruise control um also let me let me start it up actually so you can actually hear it because that's that's what really makes a difference to this car so it just sounds so epic even without the sport button press so this has a switchable sports exhaust has sport chrono sport so sport sport plus it has the switchable suspension which comes standard on all s model 911s um, so if i hit that you can it also automatically engages the switchable sports exhaust there is also the wind deflector as well which is electric and so you can see that engaged really helps with wind buffeting at speed on the motorway you can you can have the hood open with that open with that um, up and you can you're perfectly comfortable in the cabin with the roof down um, at 70 miles an hour has auto lights also has the rain sensor so it's auto wipers and auto dimming mirrors as well the mirrors are also the optional folding mirrors as well Let me just open those windows so the folding mirrors and as a result they also come with the optional welcome led so that lights up the sides of the cars when you lock it or unlock it at night um, I mean other great options on this car as I said it's got that lovely carbon fibre it's also got what's called the smokers package which means that it has this little cubby here rather than an open little tray which just collects dust this is quite a nice little finishing flourish a lot of people did spec it it's about 160 quid I think from memory um, even though they don't smoke you can see that's never been smoked in um, the benefit of is is that from a design perspective it's sort of nicely follows through the the end of that center center console area um, you've also got a, the full factory tracker with the two factory tracker fobs 12 volt outlet there obviously the one in there i've just shown you there's also a 12 volt just there as well and also one down there so you've got four 12 volts um, cup holders here which fold out and expand and then you lock it in place by pushing that flat back up I've had some full Bose system, so that's 12 speakers, 445 watts. And it also has the jukebox, which I think is 40 gigabytes of MP3 storage, which you load in through the universal audio interface there. Um, so you put a USB stick in there with your MP3 files and it'll ask you to copy it. Has a full phone module, so you can do uh, Bluetooth audio streaming when your phone automatically pairs to the car, as mine has just done. And um, you then get the full phone book and everything else you can answer phone calls when you have it in the different modes it will also show up just here so you've got sport sport plus and then on this side you even have launch control as well so uh, sport basically makes the gear change uh, quicker it holds gears for longer and it makes the throttle more sensitive sport plus does that but even more so it holds the gears all the way to the red line changes down very aggressively as you're as you're coming towards a junction or something so it's more suited towards track driving unless you put it into full manual mode so and you do that by sliding it all the way down to drive and then you slide it across that's now in manual mode and then you can use the gear stick to go down a gear or up up a gear like that or you can use the the paddles as i said that one and that one which follow the steering wheel just like a race car does and this is exactly like a sort of like a sequential gearbox in a race car so down up 
very, very sort of involving gears, gear change, um, dual clutch system, as I said. Um, has the full heated seats option as well. So that's three stage and it has two zone climate control as well. So you can set different temperatures on the different sides and just let it do its thing. Or you can set it to sync. So you just, they go up together. Has the embossed headrests as well. So those lovely Porsche crests on the headrest there. And uh, obviously full UK and Europe navigation. Um, when you have it on audio streaming, it will sort of, if you have Waze running on your phone, it will play uh, the audio from your phone as well as the Waze and also still connect to your phone for phone calls as well so it's very intuitive. There is actually a system that allows you to install CarPlay into this standard head unit which is available to have fitted um, by any sort of specialist audio supplier or Porsche specialist can normally arrange this for you as well. So as I said it's only covered 34,042 miles, it's got four previous owners, full uh, Porsche and Porsche specialist service history. Um, on this screen here you can change what you see, so you can have your phone, you can have the map, you can have trip meter, you can have the sport chrono controls there, so that controls the stopwatch, so if I start that, that's the stopwatch running there, and then I can reset it, and then when I come out of that menu it will then revert back to being a clock, so it, well, it's a dual purpose, and that's only available when you get sport chrono package plus from the factory. Has a G-force meter as well, which shows you your maximum G's as well, and obviously your vital stats. Um, it's probably too yeah, it's too cold for me to show you the oil, but I can show you that it's next due a major service in July 2026, or the next mine is due July 2024 because the last major was done July 2022 at Porsche uh, Cotswold Porsche Specialist. Uh, and they did an oil change as well, so that's also due in July 2024 in 19 and a half thousand miles. So lots of life left before it needs any kind of maintenance and it'll come with 12 months MOT as well. Uh, let me just see what else there is. So let me just, actually, let me just rev it slightly so you can hear. I mean, I, I just think that sounds incredible. Hopefully you do too. Now, um, I'll just show you the file. So we produce one of these for every single car, every single Porsche that we sell. So um, here is the one for this car. Uh, there is a PDF at the front, which you can also view online on the advert. You, on the right-hand side of any of the advert on our website, or you scroll all the way to the bottom if you're on a mobile phone, there's a PDF to download, which has all of the, the vital stats of the car. Uh, then it has the full options list, so I'll just go through and see if there's anything I've missed off of here. The car also has PTV Plus, so that's the um, locking rear differential, which is a really good option for making the car a bit more dynamic at coming out of corners. Um, it has Porsche Active Drivetrain mounts, so that means that the, the mounts between the gearbox and the chassis stiffen and slacken depending on which mode you've got it in. So as well as changing the throttle, the gear change, um, it also changes uh, how sensitive the steering wheel is. It sort of weights it up in the different modes as well, as well as with speed. And so the PADM works with that, as well as the PTV Plus system. As well as having the, the LED lights here in the sun visors, you've also got the, uh, what's called the um, LED light design package. So it has LEDs lights in here, also in the footwells. That's a really nice option that you don't normally see. Um, <clears throat> as I said, it has Sport Seats Plus, PASM, so switchable sport suspension, which sits 10 mil lower all the time than a car without PASM. So most Carreras don't have PASM because it didn't come as standard. So they sit 10 mil higher than this car. Has a cruise control system, electric folding wind deflector, as I said. And then, oh, it has the full parking, parking system so when you put it in reverse it will also it will show you with colors uh, the traffic light system how close you're getting to something so under 10 miles an hour even at the front it will say that you're gonna you're gonna be getting close to an obstruction on the, on this screen automatically in in the PCM vehicle track I've already mentioned sport design steering wheel 911 badge um, then we've also done full diagnostics of the car. Um, on average, this car has traveled at 27.56 miles per hour 
its whole life. So it hasn't been clocked or anything like that because we've, we've checked to the engine hours on various different items within the car using the same di diagnostics that Porsche use. We've also done an over rev check and it's only got 23 ignitions in range one, which equates to like a fraction of a second, 0 0.06 seconds. It's been at the red line in manual mode. So perfectly fine. The only concerns are when you go to range four, five and six and this car's been nowhere near that. So absolutely great. And then uh, this car was supplied by Porsche Silson 2013. Service Porsche Cambridge 2015, 2016 Simon Thorpe Porsche Specialist 2016, 2017 same again, 2018 Wilms Porsche Wilmslow, 2019 Porsche Wilmslow, Williams Porsche Specialist 2020, 2021 Porsche uh, Cotswold Porsche Specialist, 2022 Porsche uh, Cotswold Porsche Specialist again, major service with the brake fluid um, and all of those filters changed as well. And then we've got invoices as well for all, for all the work. Uh, so yeah, in summary, it's an absolutely brilliant car in fantastic condition, as you can see. Sounds epic as well. I'll just show you the front and rear boots. So there's the, there's the rear section. So that's where, if this comes up when you do, when you operate the roof, but also it's where you can top up the uh, oil or the coolant if you need to, but you shouldn't need to. There's the 3.8 Carrera that the engine sits under the hood there. So I'll just put that down. And then I'll show you the front section as well. Ah, and there's the fuel cap as well in the front. Everything's in great condition. The um, air conditioning condensers were done quite recently, again by Cotswold Porsche Specialist, so it's got brand new air conditioning condensers on both sides, ice cold air conditioning as it should be. There is the front boot, so you've got tools there, towing eye, um, locking wheel bolt, and you've got a set of tools there, spanner, reversible screwdriver, and a headlight adjustment tool there in that side warning triangle there and then you've got the uh, tire gel in this side and under here you've also got some other bits so you've got the original Porsche tire compressor so you can top up the tires with that if they're a little bit low then you've got a Porsche battery there so everything that should be has all of its tools and everything as in the factory So there you have it, an absolutely beautiful Porsche 991 Carrera S, rear wheel drive. As I said, it has 400 horsepower. Extremely fast, sounds amazing. Brilliant to drive, very reliable as well. We don't have any issues with these cars at all. They just run absolutely beautifully. So if you're interested in the car, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thanks for watching.